Hey guys, my name is Andrew Daniels. I'm the head of design at Flutterflow, and I want to take you through a small tutorial where I'll show you how to use simple search on, on change of an input, use autocomplete on that input, and then see a list view of your uh, results, and then a clear button that will you know clear the results and give you the list view of the, all the cities. So I hope you enjoy, and let's dive in to build a new page right let's go ahead and add a page search page search cities to let's go ahead and add a back button on this little guy we don't what we need here is a row or no actually at first a container and then a row, and then a text field. This text field will be our search, okay? Uh, in this row, I also want to have an icon button, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. This will serve as our, uh, our clear button. Here. I'm going to add some content padding here, just 24 pixels, and let's go ahead and make like 16 and 16, cool. Alright, and this will be our clear button. Okay, so how do we get the initial list of cities? That's a question, right? Uh, we get to this page and <clears throat> we have an initial list of cities here. So the way I did that was, and I'm gonna um, do a few things because we actually need another row here underneath uh, with some text and some more text. Let's go ahead and set padding to 16, 12, and 16, and then space in between. Search results. Um, cool. All right, so we have a list view. So let's place that list view here. For now, that works. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and adjust this to our background. Uh, and then this image there. Cool. We also have one more here, to population. All right, okay. So I just use this template and then we're going to select this list view. Now the way we're gonna get this list view um, and the way we're gonna get the autocomplete is we need a query of cities on this page. So we're gonna just query a collection on this page, cities. We're gonna do a list of documents we're going to order by the index. Uh, you can order by anything, the name. Um, so cool. We're going to query the collection on this page. And the, the reason for that is we want the list of cities from this auto completion, right? We want them to fill the options. And we want this initial list view to populate the cities. So select that list view, go to generating children from variable and let's do cities no search okay and then we can just do list of cities no further changes that will give us our, dynam our dynamic list we can grab city photo yep city name Set that for variable. Uh, population. And a uh, year founded. Cool. That's essentially it. Uh, so now we have our list view. Okay, this is the initial uh, view that we get when we come to the page. Now, how do we hide this when we initiate a search? I have a local state. 
search active. So we're going to come back to our page. We're going to select our list view and we're going to do a conditional visibility, local state, search active, and then we're going to apply the opposite statement. So that it's only showing if it's uh, false. Now, if you select the page, just for good measure, right? We will actually do on page load, update, oh, local state, and we will update that local state to be false. There. That way, no, it doesn't matter. Like when you come to this page, it'll be false. You'll see this initial list. <clears throat> and then now we can set up this text field for our search. So let's go ahead and do that. First, let's do an action. We're going to set up the search. So on change, simple. Uh, we're going to search documents. We're going to grab the city's documents here. Confirm. We're going to do city name. And the search term, we want it to be set from this text field. So widget state, search cities here. Local state. So on change, we need to update local state to true. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, duplicate this. Awesome. So what we want to do is we want to duplicate this list view. So let's go ahead and command D or command uh, C and duplicate it. And then what we want to do is change the name. Um, I do this just for easier, um, yeah, easier viewing. Obviously, we're going to change the uh, variable for con conditional visibility to search active equals true. And then we're just going to change this uh, dynamic set of the children to the simple search results rather than the city's document. Go ahead and do no, no further changes. Confirm. Cool. And then all of those, all of the uh, city hookup should, should be the same. All the variables will be the same because we already set that in the first list um, and it's pulling from the same place. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and set our clear icon. So let's set the action here to clear the text field. Select the text field. And then also we want to reset that local state. Uh, we're gonna set it to false again so that it removes the search results and puts up that first list that we saw. So I'll just set it to false. And we want to set this uh, search results, the number of search results here. So let's go ahead and do that. And And the last thing that we need to do is actually set the text field autocomplete. So we, we have the autocomplete turned on, but we don't have the autocomplete options coming from the cities collection that we called on the uh, page. So let's go ahead, let's set that from variable. And then let's just go ahead and select the cities documents, map list items, and then Let's go ahead and select the city name. That's what's going to pop up in that autocomplete option. So now we can basically hook up this search button to navigate to our page. Uh, it was navigating to another page before, so let's go ahead and navigate to our page so that when we run it, we can actually accomplish or actually see our result. Awesome. You can see we can, we can search. We get our autocomplete options. We can click into that city. And view it. We can clear our results and get the whole list view again. Uh, and then we can also just cycle through that list. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see what you guys build in your apps with Simple Search.